The latest on the Gilgo Beach murders investigation. The task force has identified another set of remains originally found nearly three decades ago. ABC's Aaron Katursky is on Long Island with what we're learning about the victim. Aaron, good morning. Wait, good morning to you. For investigators here on Long Island, this is a new piece of the puzzle, but the full picture is still not clear because police don't know who killed this woman. This morning, Jane Doe number seven has a name. Authorities on Long Island using genealogical DNA to identify Karen Vergata, one of the Gilgo Beach murder victims. The legs that were found uh, in the vicinity of Davis Park were compared with the remains found at Tobey Beach, and it was determined that uh, it was the same person. Vergata disappeared in February 1996. She was 34, living in New York City, and authorities said, like other Gilgo Beach victims, a sex worker. In September of 2022, the FBI was able, uh, via a genetic genealogy review, to identify Ms. Vergata presumptively as Fire Island Jane Doe. Part of Vergata's body was found on Fire Island the year she vanished. Years later, more of her remains were found near Gilgo Beach. Not far from the burlap-wrapped bodies of three women, Rex Hewerman is now charged with killing. He's the father and architect who has pleaded not guilty to those three murder charges. Prosecutors have said he's the prime suspect in a fourth. Maureen Brainerd Barnes was found wrapped in this distinctive belt bearing the initials W.H., the same initials as Hewerman's father. He was arrested after police say they extracted DNA from pizza crust outside his office. And they're now asking a judge to order Hewerman to turn in a direct DNA sample to see if he can be tied to any other killings. With the exception of the fact that he's apprehended, there is more of this case to come down the road than what has already happened. From an investigative standpoint, we're really very much at the very beginning of this. No charges have been filed on the deaths of Karen Vergata or five other sets of human remains found along Gilgo Beach. And will investigators have not said and will not say whether they have information about a suspect? Will? So many pieces in this increasingly complex puzzle. Aaron Katursky, as always, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.